Hi friends, Taylor here. Welcome to another writing video. <laughs> Today I wanted to talk a little bit about why self-publishing and sort of my journey on how I got to this decision of self-publishing later on this year. So let's do it. So before I even share my self-publishing journey, I need to share sort of my writing journey. I've always wanted to be an author. Since I was about 12, I knew that's what I wanted to do. And I, as I got older and found out more about publishing, I was just like, yeah, I'll probably just do the write a book, get an agent, publish with a publisher. And for the past several years, that has like been the ultimate goal, like the ultimate daydream. And just like, that's what I was going to do. And then something just felt off and I noticed that I kept pushing, putting off editing my book or putting off writing and <laughs> that wasn't the point. I wanted to write books. I want people to read books that I write. Like I just love stories and I want to share them. <laughs> and so I had to just take a step back and figure out why I was feeling that way. Um, and right around that time, I started reading a handful of indie authors and self-published authors, and I was like, wait a second, how did I forget about this option? <laughs> and I was like, you know what, maybe I'll self-publish. And so I had this thought, and then a little while later, it was just like this constant recurring thought of like self-publish, 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 just do it, just do it. So I was like okay, I'm just gonna do it. So in April this year, I announced on social media, on my blog, that I am planning to self-publish my first book later this year. Oh, to tell you, I'm very excited, truthfully. I'm very excited, but it's also very nerve-wracking and very hard. There's a lot of stuff that I didn't know about, that a lot of things that I had to Basically, when you're a self-published author, you do all the things and you, it's just hard, but also very, very exciting. So that is sort of the journey that I took to get here. I'm very excited to self-publish. I'm not opposed to traditional publishing. There is a chance in the future that I may go that direction, but right now, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to self-publish. I've got so many fun ideas and so many things that I just want to write. So many projects that I can't wait to share with you. So really, I'm just so thrilled and excited and motivated again to write. And I just know that for me, this is the right step. And yeah, so I'll be self-publishing my first novel in November 2021. You heard it first here. Actual date coming soon. I've been asked like, why self-publishing? why self-publishing really is what I have been asked and sort of also been given the like, oh, you're self-publishing? Like, why would you do that, Taylor? And I understand these questions. They're valid questions. I feel like I have asked them. I haven't asked or like I haven't said them out loud to a self-published author before, but I definitely thought them like, why self-publishing? So here's why. One, I get my book into your hands a lot sooner. I love how traditional publishing works for the most part. I love that really as a writer, you get to focus on writing and you don't have to figure out how to market or how do you format your book or how to sell it or like, you don't have to do all that of those things that you do as a self-published author, but traditional publishing is very slow and I have wanted this for a very long time and obviously like there's still time like I could go the traditional route and be published in a couple of years but like I just feel like I want the this story that I'm writing working on right now and these other stories that I have in my head I want you to have them sooner rather than later so and not to say that the quality will be diminished at all I like I'm still working with editors and beta readers and all these people who I would have on a team if I was traditionally publishing, but 
ultimately when it comes down to it, as a self-published author, I can get books out to readers much more quickly and that is what I want to do. So I have my notes. <laughs> Anyway, but that is what I want to do. So that's one of the biggest reasons that I can be published sooner uh, through self-publishing. Another reason is that I have a little bit more control about my story. I don't necessarily have to write for the market um, quite as much. Like I can write, I can write the stories that I want to write and the stories that I want to tell, and I know they will hit their right market and that's exciting to me. I also get more control in the cover design, when my book comes out, how it's promoted, the content of my story. Like I know authors have, a, like traditional authors have a lot of say or at least some say in some of those elements and obviously like the content in their book they have a lot of say in that but I like to have control over things. <laughs> So yes, I'm self-publishing so I can have more control. And really another big reason that I'm self-publishing is that it just, like I mentioned, it feels like the right thing for me to do right now. So we're just gonna go with it and it's terrifying and exciting and there's so many things that I don't know how to do yet that I'm gonna learn and I'll probably make mistakes. Definitely will, <laughs> but I'm just very excited. I'm just very excited for this journey and for you to have my book someday soon. Really soon. Less than six months. <sighs> All right, another question that no one has like officially asked me, but one that I've been thinking about is like, when will I be able to buy your book? How, will, where will I be able to buy your book? And as of right now, um, for my first book, at least just the first one, um, while I am sort of getting my footing and stepping into this new world of self-publishing, my book will most likely only be available on Amazon um, because I will be publishing through their publishing service called KDP, which means that it will be available on Kindle, Kindle Unlimited, and paperback through Amazon. Um, eventually, I would like to go wide, as they call it in self-publishing, and use other another printing company to sort of distribute my book so people can buy them from Barnes & Noble or indie bookstores. Um, and that is still the plan, but not for this first book. So this first book will be available on Amazon. <laughs> and I will give you all those details once it's available. <laughs> so ultimately those are all of the reasons why I am self-publishing and I'm really excited. It's not something that I really thought I would do. Um, just because I didn't think that it was going to be the way my author journey went, but this is the way it's going and I'm very excited for it. I'm very excited to share my stories with you and it's just going to be so great. So what a few things that you can expect for, uh, especially here on YouTube, I'll be sharing more of my writing process, um, and my editing process in vlogs and just videos like that. Also, if you guys are interested, I can share sort of the ins and outs and things that I'm learning about self-publishing because, like I said, I've obviously never done this before, but I am so thankful for the people who have gone before me and have shared their insight and the things that they've done and how they did them, just so that I can get a better idea of what sort of to expect. <laughs> so I will share all those things too. And yeah, it's just gonna be so exciting. Book re or a cover reveal and a title reveal will be coming soon, possibly in July, if not August for sure. I'm still not quite sure about that, like when that will be ready. <laughs> but I will announce it here as well as on Instagram, so you can follow me over there as well. Okay, so yeah, now I'm just rambling. <laughs> I will see you soon in another video. Bye.